Hi everybody, it's Lisa uh, for Crafty Wifey. I just wanted to share um, something I'm really excited about. I joined a swap, my first swap ever. This is the year of the firsts for me, I tell you. I'm doing the first this, first that, first swap. Um, the swap was hosted by Tamika at Scrap the World here on YouTube. And um, short story, um, Tamika has these swaps. Um, she always has some kind of a swap going on. Um, sometimes it's like three by three cards or tags, prima doll things and embellishments. And um, I always have such fun watching her show what people sent in and how people made them. I, I love it. And from what I can tell, I mean, this is my first swap. I don't have a lot of experience, but um, Tamika swaps are very, very organized. Um, she puts everybody into groups. They fill up very fast. Um, I think our group, this whole swap, I think there might have been about 40 people, if I'm not mistaken, five, five uh, like 10 groups of four, I think, about there. And they fill up same day. Um, so when I had already made up my mind a long time ago that, okay, the next swap Tamika has, I'm going to try to get in it. Um, so she put out uh, her video explaining the swap that she was going to have. And so I like clicked reply and said, um, if there's any spots left, you know, I'd really like to, to be a part of it. And there was. So I was so happy. I was elated um, until I realized uh, I went back and watched her video and realized what it was we were swapping. <laughs> um, I would have been good for, you know, some 3x3 three three cards or something, but I got carried away watching what she was showing and it looked so pretty. What we were swapping is an embellishment gift set. Gift set meaning more than one thing, okay? Um, the gift set has to be packaged properly as though, you, you know, it was a gift set that you were going to give to somebody, another scrapper. And what would be inside is it had to have a handmade flower, a fabric flower, not paper, uh, a tag um, but that could be used, but uh, couldn't have embellishments on it. Couldn't be dimensional. Had to be flat, like just with a stamp on it, but you had to put a topper on it, some kind, ribbon, uh, some kind of a topper on the tag. Um, and you had to have uh, an embellishment, a set of embellishments, meaning two. So it could be stick pins, uh, dom altered dominoes, uh, scrabble tiles, uh, anything like that. It had to be two. And then three laces, um, three different laces uh, for each participant, two feet of each. Okay. So just to tell you where I was starting off at, <laughs> I had never made uh, a flower fabric or paper or anything. I have never made a flower before. So, hey, good one for me. Um, laces. I had zero laces, zero, like none at all. So, and then Tamika said, um, she kind of said, you know, send some pretty stuff, send some good stuff. Um, and then I thought, oh my God, is there bad stuff? What if I buy the bad stuff? <laughs> so that's good. And then the embellishments. So she said stick pins at first, her example were stick pins. And then I thought, okay, she's giving other options. You can do alter dominoes, Nope, that's not me. Uh, you could do altered bottle caps. Ooh, no, nope, never did that before. Uh, Scrabble tiles. Oops, no again, not me. Um, all of the um, <laughs> clothes pins. All of all of the options I had never done before. I hadn't done any of it before. So I really stepped in it this time, ladies. I I really stepped in it big time. Um, but I was excited, and I you know. One side of my brain was saying, oh my God, what did you do? You have to get out of this. And then the other side of my brain was saying, no, it's okay. You can do this. Um, you just got to, and then I was thinking, okay, you just got to step up your game. And then, and then the other side of my brain was saying, hey, wait a minute, you don't have a game. <laughs> That's apparent. You don't have any game to step up. So anyway, 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 just had to give you some background on what I was starting with here. But I'm happy with it. I did it. I met the challenge uh, right down to the last day. 
Um, you know, I had finished, actually finished my flower tags. I finished everything about a week and a half ago. And I had just been hemming and hawing over the packaging. The packaging was the hardest part, I think. I wanted it to be pretty. You know, you never, me being a first time swapper, I didn't want, you, you shouldn't be able to tell that I'm a first time swapper. You know, you don't want to get that newbie in your group and you're like, oh, oh, this is nice, okay. Um, and then you hear they're a first time and you're like, oh, okay, yeah, that explains it. So, you know, I didn't want, I don't want you to be able to tell it's my first time. I want it to be, you know, as nice and I want you to, I want my recipients to enjoy the goodies and be happy that they received them. So I really uh, wanted the packaging to be pretty too. And Tamika showed these clear bags and I looked everywhere for those bags. I got small ones. I bought oversized that were ones that were too big and I was trying all these ideas. And finally, a couple days ago, I settled on gift bags. So that being said, let me show you what I came up with. I'll start with the tag. So here is my tag, and I actually didn't even have any tags. I had to make some up. So this is just three by five and a half. So it's three by five and a half tag. And um, I did stamp on it. Um, we are blessed, bit of a dove. You probably can't tell uh, my lighting. You know what, let me just turn on the light. I'm really sorry, I should have turned on the light. Maybe that's a little bit better, like, hello, Lisa. Um, so I did some embossing. Don't know if you can see it, but it's just a, a pale pink. I, oh, and the two groups, you could be in either the vintage group or the shabby chic group. And I didn't really even know what shabby chic really d was defined as, but Tamika defined it as being just sort of your pastel colors, your light pinks, your mint greens, light blues, things like that. So I thought, okay, well, I think I can do that. Um, but I probably should have did vintage. I think that would probably would have been easier. Anyway, anyway, so I embossed this, just some pale pink, what I thought was shabby chic paper. And this paper for, that I used for the tags was from my Cottage Farms paper, pink paisley. And that's just a shabby chic pink looking thing that I got from Walmart. So that was my tag. Just put a couple of charms. That too, I didn't have any charms. She showed charms on her tag. <laughs> I didn't have any charms. So I had to go buy charms, which is fine. Um, so, but I didn't have jump rings or, you know, like jewelry. So I didn't have any of that. So I just tied that up there with some twine, just a fl Michael's flower and some, some eyelash trim. So that's just my bare tag. And this is how the tags look with the um, laces wrapped around them so I you had to have three laces but I tried to do a little extra anyway like I said I didn't want to be the newbie you know you don't want everybody to give extra and then the new big newbie just gives the basic three right so I tried to do I did one two three four and then five and then I put together um, six an extra uh, extra lace there so that's my tag with the laces on it. So that's ready to go in the gift bag. A flower. I made a flower. First flower ever, ever, ever. And I just used uh, one of Tamika's tutorials. I figure if it's good enough to, for Tamika, it's good enough for everybody else. So hopefully it is in the bag. Look at I even topped it. Can you believe that? I love it. <laughs> Never did anything like this before. This scrappy bookworm won. She tops everything with uh, that in her little giveaways and things. She always talks about making it pretty. So kind of, you know, got the idea from her just to top it with something to make it pretty. And I'm glad that I did. So this is just the, the I used some muslin flower, Michael's doily, and I wove some eyelash trim in there, some pink eyelash trim just to give it some subtle color. And this is the kind with the squares you know the squares they don't have to be perfect thank goodness and you put glue there and you twist it all up and then you put like 12 of them on a I just I didn't have felt uh, the way Tamika showed but I, I just used some cardstock so really really love how that turned out um, and then I decided on my embellishment was going to be stick pins. I figured, you know, altered dominoes, I don't have any, bottle, bottle caps don't have any of those either, scrabble tiles. You know, I figured the most doable embellishment for me, I thought, was the stick pins. So I didn't want to just 
you know, throw the stick pins in there. So I tried to turn it up. I tried to turn it up. Tried to step up my game that I didn't have. Um, so here is, I did the matchbook thing. And now I got this matchbook tutorial idea. There's a lot out there, of course. I mean, many, many people have done these. I did mine from Luisa Diaz, though. She had a very good, easy-to-follow tutorial on her channel. So I went over to Luisa Diaz and found this little idea. Got the little belly band. Look at me with the belly band. I'm telling you, ladies, I really, really pushed myself here. And stick pins. Okay, I thought these were going to be super easy. They weren't. <laughs> But they were manageable. I, I, you know, I think I did okay. You know, the beads at my Michaels is sucky. I had to go... I had Sorry, everybody. I got cut off on the last video. I guess I was jibber-jabbering too much. Um, don't you just love cameras? Um, anyway, uh, I forget where I was. But I think I was just showing you the box. And um, my... Or, sorry, gift bag here. So, I love the flap. Good size. A uh, couple of tags. One tag I left blank. Um, that was from the P Primrose Paper Stack um, because my idea, you know, the idea is that this is a gift set that, and they can reuse. I really want the ladies to be able to reuse the bag if they want to. So there, I left a blank tag for them to reuse later, you know, to and from, whatever. And then I had a, just a tag with my details on the back of it. Um, embellishment, swap, date, my name. So I left that, sort of put that on the back there just so it didn't detract from um, the rest of the bag. And I also didn't do too much embellishing here. I didn't put, you know, flowers or bling or anything on it. I left it fairly plain, as you can see, because I'm really hoping, you know, that the lady who receives this will have the option of reusing it. Now, she can reuse it, of course, for Mother's Day or Easter, um, a birthday, you know, any old thing that, you know, any old occasion that might come up, she can reuse the bag. And at that time, you know, she can put a, you know, Happy Mother's Day or, you know, she can put some kind of um, embellishment on further if that's what she wants to do. So I didn't want to muck that up for her. I wanted to leave it open so that somebody could come along and just, you know, customize it a little bit um, themselves for whatever occasion that they happen to be using the gift bag for. So very, very easy gift bag. I, like I said, I'll leave the link in the description box below for this bag because it was really easy to use. So I think that's all. Um, I will leave the description uh, more, any information that I think of in the description box below. Um, oh, my little little extras. I'm just having um, putting some extras in with my for my ladies, and I put a little doodad bag in there and an extra ribbon. Now this the laces the la not ribbon lace. Sorry, you weren't allowed to use ribbon. Here's one of the laces that I use, and I thought it was pretty. It's scalloped with hearts. I hope you can see that. So I bought that. You know, I have no experience buying lace, so I tried to buy kind of what I saw you ladies always using. I thought, you know, people like to use that. And I did buy a little bit extra for myself. So I'm happy to say this is a bit just, this is just a trim. This is not really lace, but it's a bit of a stretchy trim. Um, I bought a little extra for myself. So now I have a bit of a bit of a little stash of laces too. And this is an ivory, it's kind of an ivory off-white, and this has got a bit of a stretch in it too. And I really liked it because it's about two and a quarter inches wide. So really like that one. And this one gave me some trouble actually. I liked it in the store. I needed pink, that was my color, pink. It all had to be, it had to coordinate. Uh, so I had pink in the stick pins, I had pink on my tag, I needed pink ribbon. And my fabric land, um, hardly any pink. Black and white, yes. Pink, no. So I hope this kind of looks a bit like a bubblegum pink to me. In this store, it looked more muted, you know. It looked a little bit lighter. But I hope, you know, it's still usable. Um, so it is a little bubblegummy. I did like it because it was wide. It was two and three quarter inches wide. So I did like that. I originally had this wrapped around my tag with the other with the other laces, but it was too bulky. It was too frou-frou. By the time I had wrapped it around, 
it was so wide and thick that it was giving me such problem putting it into any kind of a bag or anything. That's why I just took it off, wound it up, and just put it separately in there. And then, of course, just topped it off with, with matching paper. I love that. Can you see that? It's like matching paper. The topper matches the tag and the little tag there. Love that. So cute. So I really just want to thank Tamika for allowing me to be a part of this, having, you know, allowing newbies to be inside of her swaps. Like I said, she's really organized. Ladies, if you've never been in Tamika's swaps, maybe you want to give one a try sometime because um, you never walk away empty handed. I've heard sort of horror stories where you know people join swaps you're excited you send out your three or four items and you get one back because you know your recipients have flaked out on you or you know you get stiff you get you know you don't get anything back um tamika has even angel swappers on the sidelines in case somebody drops out for whatever reason everybody's you know got their reasons but if somebody drops out then she has somebody to angel swap or fill in for them or she'll do it herself so that if you send out three you get back three so I love that um, um, it's it's really important I think to her that everybody who puts in gets something back so really love being a part of this swap I can't wait to swap again it stretched me as a crafter like I said I've never made flowers before now I'm I only made four two <laughs> one for each of my my little gift sets here um, but I'm definitely going to make more flowers for myself um, so that I have those ready I'm you know make more tags I have no tags but I feel better I can you know tags are pretty easy I'm going to give the stick pins um, I'm going to get more stick pins down I'm going to get more practice because I have beads left over so I'm going to practice some more with some stick pins so it just really stretched me um, it was challenging and I think I kind of I, I met the challenge as far as my own skill level goes I, I think that I've kind of grown and expanded a little bit so anyway enough jibber jabber um, just have a great day uh, thank you Tamika for allowing me to be a part of it allowing newbies in there and the ladies that are in my swap uh, I was not familiar with them before the swap so hello to you guys and I really hope that you like uh, what you receive so have a great day and um, hope the weather is good wherever you are thanks bye